Man of the hour, can you introduce yourself? Oh, do I only get an hour? I'm Robin in tonight. I think my hour's nearly up. I think we're at 59 and 58 seconds, so I have my two seconds left. How much money have we lost because of overrunning? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's, it's, uh, I can only hope we can plead to the Hammersmith Apollo and say, oh, come on, we're trying to do a good thing. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I mean, overall, even, I knew, do you know, the reason we ran out of time is actually Richard Dawkins. He did quite a long bit of shtick. Um, so as Chris Addison said, as I mentioned on stage, you know, a show so long that evolution is actually occurring and new species are forming as people are sitting in those chairs. So, uh, yeah. Are you happy with how it all went? I think so. I'm, I'm now at the point, having spent nearly a whole year putting it together, that I don't know whether I can be happy or probably tomorrow I'll have a moment where I'm walking to some like Westfield shopping centre, going to the early learning centre to buy something for my son, and I'll go, that no, was alright. Yeah, right. And so, is this what you imagined it would be? This is obviously the second year you've done it. Yeah, it's really hard to know what I imagined this show was going to be. Uh, but I think it was. I hope that most people left with uh, they a huge amount of zeal for science and learning and knowledge and how important it is to know that we are on this, this little lump of rock and we have to look after it and we have to look up at the sky and every time you're walking home and it's a cloudless night you look up and you look at those stars and you go, that's fantastic, what an amazing curtain on our existence that is. Pretty amazing achievement to fill the Apollo on the last night pretty much. Um, is there where, where do you go from here? Can you see this becoming even bigger than it already is? I want to keep pushing at it. I mean, you know, I was just talking to Brian Cox, and, and we have you know, a, a, a missionary zeal to get information out there. And I think popular entertainment, however much it might be derided, is a really good way of doing it. It's, they're all they're little starter packs. What you see tonight, the 22 different acts, is little starter packs of ideas. And uh, that, that's my most... If you know, tomorrow, I hope, on Facebook and on Twitter, people will be saying, oh, who's that person we're talking about? And who's that? And what books should I read? Which I get quite a lot, and that's that's my thing. I am, yes, a librarian uh, who's somehow turned himself into you are, some you are variety a very, act. You're a very charismatic librarian because every single person I've spoken to has said the reason why they did this is, you know, because of their love of you. What's your secret? My secret is my pheromones. Uh, I think it's just that there's loads of people out there that really want to talk about things that they might not be able to talk about when they're, especially the comedians, when they're touring and they're playing certain towns. And you know, if, if Dora Brim wants to talk about mutating neutrinos, the audience, as he said last year, what he did was the 15 minutes that in Folkestone would have people going, mm. and of course here you've got these people who um, want to learn and, and know stuff as well. Most of that audience know far more than I do. You know, I always leave in, in the same frame of mind that I remain merely an idiot, but quite. Keen idiot. Um, can you think of any highlights, any particular things that, that really tickled you or that you really enjoyed from the week? There's so many things. I thought Brian Cox's uh, presentation about the universe is fantastic. I think Barry Crime really golden in Peace and Choir. I think Baba Brinkman's rap guide to evolution nearly back everyone on pretty much. I mean, the only downside was I, I feel a bit annoyed that I, in some ways I've, I've been helping publicise uh, man made global warming uh, denial. In in, in that way, but equally it's fired me up even more when I've seen the misrepresentation of what happened that night in the press and the absolute rubbish written by people like Ed West and Brendan O'Neill who actually wrote to some of them and said, you are peddling misinformation about what happened and one of them came back with a brilliant statement, we're not really interested in the science, we're only interested in the politics. Well, with something like global warming, there is not a divide that you can make between science and politics. The science is what the most important thing. Um, we have have too many, you know, when I pick up newspapers, we have too many dumbass idiots whose opinion is meant to mean something, and those people are damaging and ultimately, I think, vile. I think they're, they're really, I, I, that's not a negative thing, it actually makes me very excited to go, right, what we have to do is get out there and say, Ed West, you're an idiot. Brenton O'Neill, you, I don't know what your agenda is, but it's the wrong agenda. Start reading the right books and stop doing, as, as Johnny did, Johnny Ball on a Tuesday night, to approach man made global warming from a faith position to not want to listen to climate change scientists, to not want to listen to or rather climatologists, not climate change scientists, climatologists, to not, why are 95% of scientists brilliant scientists as well?
against what Johnny is saying because they have done the real research. So yeah, I'm fired up again. Yay. That's one of the reasons I did this. Yay, brilliant. Um, congratulations on an absolutely brilliant week. Um, I'm very looking forward to next year. Um, any any uh, sort of uh, festive wishes or messages you have for the viewers? Make sure that the books you ask for for Christmas are fantastic books. Don't ask for autobiographies ghost written by someone else about some idiot showbiz person. Ask for Carl Sagan's Pale Blue Dot. Ask for any books by Richard Feynman. Read books by Brian Cox. Read books by Simon Singh. Read books by all these people because at the end of those books you will go, this is incredible. And that to me is, I, because I, this is one of the things is, because we have very little anti-religion in the show. And for me, I believe, in fact I think I know, that I only live for a finite amount of time and I don't want to waste that time. I want to make sure that I know as much as possible. I still know next to nothing when I die, but I want to know as much as possible and make sure that I was informed and not misled by the mass media. Brilliant. Lots of stocking filler ideas from Avenin. Thank you so much. Brilliant.